Cool. Okay, so th this was our... Let me just start by saying this is actually the, the first project I've ever done with Bitcoin. And um, I love, I've loved the experience. So thanks everyone for the support journey for, from all the mentors. It just has been really cool to be involved with it. Yeah, the whole idea of this was that we could maybe rent a desk with Bitcoin. Um, this is the concept where maybe there, there was a QR code on a desk and then they could scan it and pay it. That was a very simple concept, but it sort of changed a bit. Um, we've done it. We made myself and Millie were um, in the team and we did a lot of design thinking about how might we do things and did a lot of design work around like UIs and actual just going and doing drones and stuff like that. And we actually hacked something together pretty fast. So what we did was created a sort of a startup called Pay My Desk. And the whole idea is like the Airbnb of, um, of desk renting. So the concept is that the user can go in and see what desks are available. And um, if they want, they can actually go into it and they know that that desk's in their area and, and they can they can pay for that desk then with a with a bitcoin ln url um, if if you want to list your desk there's an option to do that so what we do is go in and actually list the desk and, and again anyone can do that so the, the idea is that we can aim this at co-working spaces but the whole concept is like potentially you know if you had a spare desk in your garage you could probably do this so what the user does from the admin side of things is just they choose where they are and they would then name their desk. So let's say that this is a new co-working space in Belfast called Satoshi's. Um, and it's, this is desk number two. And it's super cheap, like so it's only 20 sats, but the user can set whatever they want. And then what they would do is actually just select a picture of the desk. Um, so that's a desk that's in the garage. And they hit upload. What that does then, it just uploads a, a wee photograph to the thing. So what we're doing is saying that the, the lister is saying the date where they are and um, then they've named it and the price. They hit submit. And that then gets submitted to the actual, the homepage. And it hasn't come up yet, but I'll show you quickly how this, how we've built this. So, and um, we use this service called Ellen Bits, which is really amazing. Um, and what what it how, how it works for us is we're using um Zapier. So it's a lot of this is done by no code. I'm not like a big developer, I'm more of a designer. But um, what we do is we use the Allen Bits um, API to do two simple things. We say that the the desk is listed. And um, so what we do is we check the, the field is in the air table. We we do a, a post request and then we create a blog post using Ghost, um, which is where this website is here. So if I refresh that again. So Satoshi's lab, is that the new one now? Desk two. Sorry, I'm just checking to see if that was come through. So that's the desk, that, that's the submission that I made. And is this coming through yet? So it should appear as a blog post. Um, I'll show you if that's not going to work. Let me refresh again. I'll check the quick check this the SAP history. Yeah. So twenty eight seventeen thirty nine seventeen forty five. So the desk is listed. If I go back to this website yeah so it's, it worked so the photograph you can see it, it appears here uh, and then the user could potentially go and go oh that's a really cool desk um, i'm going to rent that someday and then from their end what we've got to look at if i split this up into two so the idea is that there is um if i show you our table so this would be like the the admin side of things if i split that into two Oh, it's not the two. So just to show you how the how to work the concept is that they've listed the desk and then it's been marked as available. Then the idea is that the user, um, I don't know if you can see me while I'm doing this, but what I'm doing is open in Wallet of Satoshi and I'm going to scan it. So I'm scanning the the code here and then it's saying 
uh, you will send 20 sats to um, the server. I'm showing my camera in case you're looking at that. And then I hit OK. And then what that does, it says payment is on the way. And what we do then quickly, it, because Wallet well, Satoshi lets us open another link, what it does, it opens another link in another form. And we just put in our name and our email address. You could use a pseudonym if you wanted, but we just do an email address so you can contact the person and then maybe they could be added as a member to the site in future. Um, so I hit submit. So that's then submitted and then hopefully this here changed the booked. So you can see now that the, we actually submitted the payment um, and then that's been tagged as booked. And for the purpose of that, we can also have like a wee album there. You can imagine this would be password protected and you can see that um, on the 28th, there's three desks and one of them's available and two of them are booked. So that's very quickly um, what we did. So I'll stop sharing there. I really like the, 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 the concept actually of having the success action of an LNURL send you to a form. It's a really good idea. There's loads of applications for that. Very innovative. Yeah, but to be honest, basically I did that because I couldn't work out how to um, get the get the 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 other uh, the transaction number sent across. So what I did was I used a, a hidden field and sent that to a form, and then tagged that as a hidden field, and then it got sent to the the form. So so that's why I did that. <laughs> cool, but thanks.